guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel my name's Hannah B and on today's video I'll be going through a few things that I've recently bought from Superdrug so if you like this video don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel without further ado let's get on with the video okay so my first items that I want to talk about are actually these Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer they're like a lip gloss and I really love these. I've actually got the red one on today and I think it's so nice. I usually do go for just like a matte colour but I thought I would go for something different for once and just try out a gloss instead. I think these are really really nice. This one is more of a brownie nude but it's not very very nude <laughs> which is why I like it and it's in the colour 64 Unreal. The one that I'm wearing today is 72 Classic. And the ready, no, not ready, purpley, uh, sort of burgundy one is 76 Obsessed. I'll put up the swatches on screen now. I think they're so pretty and they don't feel like really cakey on your lips. They don't feel really sticky either. They just feel like quite comfortable and stuff like that. Um, I'm actually going out tonight and I'm planning on wearing this red one. So I'm going to see if it like, stands the test of drinking and things like that. So... Yeah, but I really like these colours. I think they're so, so pretty. My next item that I bought was actually in my last video. I mentioned that I needed to get a new eyeliner. And the one that I have at the moment isn't very black. And I didn't really like... <coughs> losing my voice. And I didn't really like it because it was going more grey rather than black. So I thought I would try something else. So I decided to get the Maybelline, Maybelline Master Ink Waterproof matte waterproof eyeliner i really love this i've used this for a few days now well two days <laughs> um and i really like it i think it is so good it dries really quickly you don't get any transfer on like the top here you know when you like open your eyes and it like before it's dried that's so annoying but you don't get any of that which is really good i like the applicator it's so so thin and skinny and it's very, very easy to apply your eyeliner. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about are the Rimmel London Oh My Gloss lip glosses. I haven't got lip gloss for years for the sheer fact that I've never liked the feeling of lip gloss. It's always been like really sticky and like almost like clumpy and it just feels uncomfortable on my lips. And as soon as you eat something or drink something it just comes off and I just never saw the point but recently I've been watching a lot of videos and a lot of beauty um, vloggers on YouTube have been raving about different lip glosses and I thought I would give some a try because obviously lip glosses have obviously progressed so I thought I would give give these a try so basically I got these two lip glosses this one is actually an oil tint but it's so pretty it's it looks so dark when I first saw this I was like it's gonna be really dark but it's I'll show you a swatch of it now it's like a nice gloss but it's still like really really glossy and it's really pretty and then this one is more glittery but it's still pinky but it's a bit um it's a bit more sheer like it's, it hasn't really got pigment to it it's more just the gloss and the glitter that you go for but I really like this and this one also says it stays for up to six hours I haven't tested this out yet so I'll have to try and see if it actually does I don't think this one does no this is just an oil tint so I really like the colors of these and I just wanted to try something different and I thought it would take me back to my childhood when I used to wear lip glosses like, all the time but I'm excited to give these a try and the next thing that I bought was actually eyelashes so I recently I have been wearing the same pair of eyelashes and all of a sudden they just sort of broke on me so I was really gutted because they were like my favorite ones and completely forgot where I got them from but anyway so I thought I would get some new ones and also seeing as I'm going out tonight it would be nice to like try something new Um, usually I get the Isla 141 ones <laughs> but whenever you go in the shop they never have them you have to order them off Amazon I think because they're quite popular like if you go in Superdrug like good luck because you ain't gonna find them yeah so I got the Isla number 126 I think these are so pretty they like really fluffy they're slightly shorter than what I usually go for but I don't mind as much because I might just wear them for like daytime use like when I go for meetings or when I'm at work or whatever so I'm not too bothered about that I think they're still really pretty 
Um, and then the other ones I want for are the Isla Lux. How do you say that? Filigree? Filigree. They're supposed to be like mink effect lashes and I thought these are the ones that I want to wear tonight. They look really spiky on camera but they're actually really fluffy. They look really pretty and on the back it shows you what they look like on and it, they actually look really nice so I can't wait to wear these either. Um, I think they will make my makeup look twice as good. <laughs> well, I'm hoping anyway. Now, the next thing that I bought is, so basically I have been using the same HD Brows palette for over a year now and before that I I was a bit I didn't I didn't really know what I was doing with my brows I would always pencil them in and they would look terrible but I now I couldn't live without like brow products or because now I actually know how to do my brows but yeah I wanted to try out something different and I've never tried out I don't know what you call it like a crayon this is called a duo brow pencil and filling powder I wouldn't call this a pencil though it's, it's almost like a crayon, I don't know. But yeah, this is the Maybelline Brow Satin Pen Crayon, whatever you want to call it. And on one side, it's got like the crayon bit. And on the other side, which I had no idea about, it has this nib bit. It's like a squishy, spongy nib. And I was like, what the hell is that about? And if you actually read what it says, so this end, the crayon end, is to fill in your brows, to like fill in any sparse hairs. And then you run the other end over your brows and it's sort of, this is the first time I tried it today and I actually think it made my brows look really good. It was so easy to do and it was so much quicker as well and I like to extend my brow past where it actually finishes. So it's really nice to find something that actually finishes it off and makes it look like part of the eyebrow as well so I really really like this. The next thing that I want to talk about is something that's been raved about quite a lot on YouTube and that is the New Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I freaking love this. I actually got it in the wrong colour but I'm not too like worried because it's exactly the same colour as my foundation so what I did was I just used it as just a concealer rather than a highlight and it really did conceal my under eyes so I put this on over my foundation and it was exactly the same colour but oh my god it, it's so thick but I love thick foundation thick concealers because of how bad my skin has been in the past I just love it I think it's so good I'm definitely gonna go back and go and get the lighter shade though so that I can use it as like a highlight and concealer then but honestly this is the best concealer I've ever ever used and it was only four pounds it was such good value for money so thank you revolution for bringing out this amazing piece of makeup okay so the last two things I'm going to be talking about is the like what I was just said, the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealers. I got one in the colour green and one in the colour fur. This one I have used for, I'm going to say over a year now. I think it's so good value for money, like the other one. It's not as thick as the Revolution one, but it's so good still. It does cover up a lot and I don't really see how you can go wrong. Like it's just so good. And it says it conceals flaws and blemishes for up to 16 hours. I would say it does that. I would say it does it for longer than that if I'm honest. But I have always been really happy with this and it's one that I probably won't go too far away from. And then recently I watched another YouTuber's video and they were talking about colour correction concealer from Collection and I thought why not just give it a go because I do have a lot of redness on my skin obviously due to my acne scars and things like that and I just thought it would be helpful. If it does help me then it could be like a lifesaver. I think it's a really really good buy. I didn't even have to put as much concealer on as I usually do. I usually cake the concealer on and this stopped that from happening because it obviously balances out all the redness and takes it away. It doesn't take everything away but once you put this on and then you put the foundation on I couldn't see nowhere near as much as I could before and it was quite shocking to me because usually I'd have to spend quite a long time doing my concealer and things like that so definitely this is something that I'll be picking up time and time again now. Okay guys, so that was just my quick little super drug haul. I really do hope you like this video and I hope I gave you some good suggestions to go and buy for yourself. If you do like this video, don't forget to give me a massive thumbs up, comment down below and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time guys. Bye!